Well, their one nil win confounded the critics who'd said Torquay didn't stand a chance. Well, today tickets went on sale for the return leg at White Hart Lane in a fortnight, and a short time ago they were said to be selling well. It was the sort of contest only the Cup can provide. Little Torquay United, who so nearly were dumped out of the league altogether last season against one of the finest football teams in the country. Ten million pounds worth of talent in the Spurs side and virtually every player an international. 5,000 fans, Torquay's biggest attendance in years, were there to see if United could repeat their success of 22 years ago when they took Spurs to a replay after two late goals. Last night, the man who scored those goals, Robin Stubbs, turned out again, this time to present the match ball before sitting back to watch Spurs take the game to Torquay early on, with some fine breaks. This from Chris Waddle. Three minutes later, the visitors came close again. Dutchman Johnny Method unlucky here. But Torquay settled as the match progressed, and as they began to put their game together, started to look dangerous. On the half hour, Glenn Riley's header had the Spurs defence in all sorts of trouble. But should Torquay have been awarded a penalty? Appeals for handball as it was scrambled away. But no, said the referee. Just before half time, leading goal scorer Paul Dobson was unlucky not to pick up on the end of this back pass. Torquay should really have been in the lead by half time. But they had keeper Kenny Allen to thank for keeping them in the match in the second half with a string of fine saves, the first from Chris Waddle. From a corner on the right, another close-range effort, this time from David Howells, well saved again by Allen. United, though, as they had in the first half, forced their way back. The goal, many fans will remember for years to come, was scored four minutes from time. Gardner's cross, Thomas fails to clear, and it comes to Derek Dawkins, 1-0. The police had to be called in to clear the pitch at the end, but it was all good-natured. The fairy tale victory was Torquay's, together with the back-page headlines. At the end of the day, it was just the icing on the cake for us. I mean, us winning 1-0, I mean, we're going up there, but we don't expect to do win it like. But the thing is, we've done this down here, and it's probably the biggest thing what's ever happened to the club. Torquay first. did excellently. Um, they battled all the way, and probably in the end, they might have deserved something for their efforts, which they got. Um, it set up for us an excellent second game. I thought in the second half we were gradually taking over and um, making chances, but we couldn't stick it away. And then, and then the romance of the cup, they get one in the last minute. What Good are you going to be telling your players for the next <coughs> game? Oh, well, we're going to have to play better than that. What do you reckon to going to White Hart Lane then? It'll be uh, Tottenham nil, Torquay 2. Dawkins, Dawkins and one other. <laughs> Optimism there. Well, Torquay travel to White Hart Lane in a fortnight's time. Their West Country rivals, Plymouth Argyle, have a tough...